Happy Hanukkah! Welcome to Cam Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. From December 10th to the 18th, museum staff and volunteers will highlight artworks from the museum's collection made by Jewish artists. So check this page every weekday at 10 a.m. for more. My name is Andrew Palomera. I'm the Associate Director of Docent Learning at the Art Museum. And today I want to show you a painting that was recently installed in Gallery 105 in our first floor galleries. It's an oil painting on canvas by Deborah Cass called The Monitor and the Mary Mac. It was made in 1983 and it's 72 inches high and 86 inches wide. It was added to the museum's collection in 1986. This is a painting of six large rocks surrounded by water. The composition is very closely cropped as if you're zooming in with the lens of a camera. The water is made up of long expressive swaths of white paint with gaps of brown, reds, and blues to make it seem as though the water is moving quickly. The rocks are very angular, almost box-like, with dark, thick lines along the outside of the rocks, and also along the sides. And those lines look almost like grates or vents. The largest one is in the top center part of the painting, and it resembles an uneven, six-sided shape that is elevated fairly high up from the water. In the top right corner is part of a rectangular shaped rock that is darkly painted. To the left of the big rock are two smaller rocks. One is a boxy gray black and to the left is a gray and red rock. Two more rocks take up the bottom left and right corners. The one on the left is brown, rectangular, and extends out from the corner toward the center. The one on the right is also directed towards the middle, but there is less of that rock visible in the painting and both have flecks of red and white paint. So I described it for those of you who can't see it, but I also did that to lay out what is contained in this painting. To be honest, I'm not really sure what to say about it, and I'm cool with that. Uh, for starters, it's a different kind of landscape painting than we're used to seeing. As viewers, we are very close to the scene and it doesn't look photorealistic. Cass herself has said that she doesn't see a painting as an all-encompassing thing, saying, quote, my life was certainly not a unified field, so that goal in a painting lost all interest to me. I'd spend my life trying to make a unified field like Philip Guston, so that realization changed how I made a painting. Coincidentally, there is a Philip Guston painting in Gallery 105, across the way from this Deborah Cass painting. She's also spoken candidly about what a painting is supposed to be. When asked if painting is dead, she said, and I quote, it's like saying the alphabet's dead. Painting is just a medium. It's what you do with it that matters. You don't kill language because you don't like what someone wrote. It's food, it's language, it doesn't die. It just changes and it's to be used. To get hung up on the medium as the problem always seems so dumb to me. It just seems limiting and silly, like bad thinking. Ultimately with painters, it's the pleasure principle that keeps us painting. But the real reason that I struggle to say anything authoritative is that this painting looks nothing like the work Deborah Cass is known for. She's most famous for appropriating famous white male artists like Andy Warhol, Frank Stella, and Ed Ruscha. So much of her work as an artist revolves around subverting the norm of art, who the ideal of an artist is, and who the intended audience is. So I turn back to the monitor in the Merrimack and I wonder what I'm missing. Maybe I'm not the intended audience. Maybe it's an appropriation of the Merrimack River, which belongs to the Penacook, Wabanaki, and Abenaki people, but was colonized in what we now call New England. Maybe it's an experiment tucked between the series that she's most known for. The truth is that I don't know. Maybe I won't know for a while, and maybe I won't ever know. But I also appreciate what this artwork has made me think about, and I hope it sparks your curiosity too.